Hi everyone, welcome to the channel Bharat Jain D365. So today, let's try to understand conditional workflow. In the previous video, we understood how to create or add workflow. So let's see how to add condition to the workflow. Let's take an example. So I have taken amount as an example to add the condition. So my condition is that when I enter a transaction 0 to 5000, then the system should do auto approval. And if I post a transaction above 5000, only then it should go for a specific user. So when I say 0 to 5000 auto approval, that means the transaction has to be still submitted for workflow. But instead of being approved by a user, system will auto approve that particular transaction. When I'm adding this condition, the amount condition specifically, I can add the condition based on journal. That means one journal can have multiple workflows. So the total crossing 5000 or less than 5000, if that's one condition from general perspective, or I can make the amount condition specific to voucher. Each voucher can fall into this category, less than 5000 or more than 5000. Accordingly, the voucher will go for the workflow submission. So in that way, you can either add at the journal or at the voucher level. So let's see how this can be added. So let's go to the system. So let's go to the workflow from the GL module, then general ledger workflow. So this is the workflow which we previously created. So click on that and that will open the workflow form. So now to add the condition, so you can see here there's a conditional decision. So this will come into picture when we have multiple condition. So for now, let's understand just to add a simple condition. So to add the condition, go inside the workflow, double click on this, select the step one. On the top, you can see there's a condition. So click on this. Do you want to run this workflow only based on condition? Then you can select this option. So once you select this, system will give an option to add the condition. While adding condition, again, you have multiple options. You can use these functionalities. So for now, I'm using the AND function. So click add function. So here, the system says that where journal table account type. So remember, I'm doing this workflow based on the amount condition or adding the condition based on the amount, right? So you can add different condition using the options available here. For example, you can use currency. So the workflow works only when a specific currency is selected or when a specific account type or for payments, you can have a specific bank account or you can also use the default dimension. So there are multiple options that's available. So I would want to use the amount condition at voucher level. So let's search for that. So if I scroll down, here you can see maximum voucher amount. So here you have maximum and minimum option. So I'm going to select the maximum because that's the condition I'm trying to add. So select maximum voucher debit amount. So once I select the amount here also I have an option is equal to greater lesser multiple options available. So let's select greater value and then enter the value which is 5000. So the condition I'm adding here is this particular workflow should run only when the amount that's the voucher amount exceeds 5000 USD. So another thing to remember is the currency. Make sure you select the right currency because if your accounting currency is USD and if you try to add a different currency, then system will convert and the value can be different. So make sure you select the right currency and click close. This is all to add the condition to the existing workflow. Now let's save this, give a version note and then click OK. So now let's activate the new version and click OK. So once the workflow is saved, now let's just make sure the new version is active. So click on the versions here. So I can see the new version is active. Close. Now to test the condition, let's first post a transaction where the voucher amount is less than 5000. So in that case, system should auto approve the transaction. Let me quickly go to GL, journal entries, journal journals, click new, select the journal name where the workflow is connected, go to lines. So let me quickly fill the transaction and make sure the amount is less than 5000. So I will say 3000 here, select the offset account. I'm randomly selecting the account, click save. 
remember as I told you even if the system should auto approve the workflow has to be submitted so let's go back here click on workflow and then submit you can insert your comment approval request and then click submit so once the workflow is selected now let's go to the history page so here you can see the approval request is submitted let's wait for the bad job to run so once the bad job is completed now we can see the tracking details where my workflow is created submitted you can see here it says that pre condition step one evaluated to false that means system has validated the condition this is the condition which we are given which is false that means it's not falling in this particular bracket since the condition is false you can see system has auto completed the workflow so you don't need any user to complete the workflow system has auto approved now let's see if the same transaction if i can submit with above 5000 then this condition should be true and system should submit it for an approval from a user so let's go to system let's submit a new transaction with the amount greater than 5000 so select the journaling go to lines let me quickly fill the transaction for this as well okay so amount let's enter greater than 5000 so i'm just going to add one dollar more than 5000 because even if it's one dollar more system should consider it is greater than 5000 and send for the approval so let's add this save let me go back here and submit the workflow and submit so then you can select the comment and then click submit so now let's go for the history page so click view history so my workflow is now submitted so let's wait for the bad job so now the bad job is completed so if you see here and my precondition is now evaluated to true that means the amount is greater than 5000 and as per this condition now the workflow is assigned to a specific user where we have added in the user so that's how you can add the condition to the workflow that's it for today's video thanks everyone